Hello and welcome back, as always, my name is Lazar and today we're gonna do a build guide for Little Miss Lee Ming, the latest hero to be added to the roster for Heroes of the Storm. Now please keep in mind before we get into anything that all my experience has been on the PTR, I think I got something like 30, 30 something games with Lee Ming. Now let's get right into it, I wanna do this a little bit differently, I normally just do gameplay and explain why I pick and all whatnot, but Lee Ming has more... Uh, viable builds than most heroes. There is a Q build, there is a Arcane Orb build, there is a, even a Teleport build and there's also the build I prefer to use for Li Ming. For all of these builds I will leave you guys a link in the description down below so it's easy to follow. Now let's talk about Little Miss Wizard. She from my point of view is the strongest hero to be launched in the last 6 months something like that. We haven't seen a powered surge this big since Kael'thas and I can say that with no reservation. So if you're just interested in should I buy her, is she good, then yes absolutely. Go right now, buy her, play her, enjoy her. That being said, please keep in mind that she is a high skill capped hero and not everybody's gonna be able to get the most out of Lee Ming, but that doesn't mean you can't have a little bit of fun on her. Let's go over her abilities really quick. Her Q ability magic missile is gonna take a little bit to get used to this one not only to hit a target it's not just about hitting a target with all your missiles eventually you're gonna get that the thing is you can actually use magic missiles to go around the target and hit the back line for example you got a big ugly ATC in your face but you want to hit uh, a Jaina which is hiding behind him the initial uh, missile which starts from your position will go straight okay so it's no way to get around the ATC but the two missiles that start from your side if aimed correctly can go around the ATC and hit the back line which is what you want it's not gonna be easy you're gonna fail it a lot but when you do get it right you're gonna feel like you achieved you accomplished something which is hard to do and she is rewarding like that on high skill capped players Arcane Orb is a much more straightforward ability. It's a skill shot with huge range on it, it picks up power the longer it travels and it also increases in size. There is a build focusing on this W ability and if you're just starting out on Li Ming, I would definitely recommend you try this one because all you have to do really is stay in the back line and keep out porking these orbs. Keep out porking the orbs, trying to get as much range on them as possible but careful, it's tricky. If it runs out of range, if you're too far away then it's not gonna do anything but then again it's gotta increase size. It's gonna be a little bit tricky. It's gonna be a little bit tricky to get uh, used to it and it can be dodged rather easily because the actual movement speed of the skill shot is rather slow. But again, it's not too challenging to um, land these Ws, especially if you got a little bit of CC on your team. Now we're gonna move on to her E ability teleport, this is a short range bling on a 5 second cooldown and from my point of view this is her actual bread and butter, this will separate leaming players into good, bad, great and all whatnot. Now keep in mind that this ability can be further amplified to give you a shield and increase the actual range. By default you can only blink all over uh, extremely thin walls but if you increase the range on this you'll be able to get out of a whole lot of sticky situations. You'll be able to survive situations a Keltos could not be able to or a Jaina and whatnot. and again from my point of view this is what puts her over the top. Her E ability is absolutely insane. 5 second cooldown, you can even get a lower cooldown, you can get a shield, you can even get a lot of damage on your E ability encouraging you to jump in the middle of the fight and I know it feels like I'm encouraging you guys to use the teleport build this is not what I'm doing I'm just outlining what the hero is capable of so again master her teleport and you will do great on Li Ming Moving on to heroic abilities, first we're gonna talk about Disintegrate, this is a channel beam which stays with your cursor, there's no delay or anything like that, it deals a lot of damage, but it's kinda dependent a little bit, you gotta have a little bit of CC on your team, for example, Leoric and Tomb can work great with this one, or maybe a Mosh Pit, or uh, even a Syndra Gosa from Artis, just to keep uh, the enemies somewhat in place because a blink, a dash, a bolt of the storm can get them out of your uh, out of your beam. Yes, you can reposition quickly, but keep in mind it only lasts for 2.5 seconds, so that's damage wasted. Moving on to her second heroic ability, Wave of Force. Now, this one is a bit more straightforward. Good area of effect on it, good damage and a knockback, which is extremely, extremely precious. Any CC we can get is extremely precious. So the advantage to Wave of Force, aside from the knockback, is that it deals all its damage at once. So you either miss it or you land it, all the damage is gonna go onto them. Again, the area of effect is pretty sizable, so it should be easy to land your heroic. Never mind how important it is to knock enemies towards a more favorable position for your team. 
I intentionally left critical mass her trait at the end because this is a very potent part of her kit. It can be further amplified to give you 25% of your max health as healing instantaneously on getting a kill. So getting a kill or assist will not only reset the cooldowns of all your abilities, heroic and basic, but will also heal you for quite a lot. Meaning again you are encouraged to stay in the middle of the fight. Keep on fighting, keep on pushing, it encourages an extremely aggressive playstyle. Maybe this is the reason why I've been having so much fun on her. I myself being an extremely aggressive player. But getting back to the topic at hand, her trait critical mass is gonna force you to think a couple of moves ahead. You gotta master this one too in order to be as viable, as potent, as efficient as you can possibly be on Liming. Let me give you a clear example. You see a 50% Rhaegar, you're thinking wave of force into teleport, I'm gonna kill this guy. Then I got wave of force and all my uh, abilities again, then I'm gonna knock these guys into my team, teleport into this position, gonna use my arcane orb, that's a kill. I can wave of force again to teleport. It's gonna be extremely, extremely hectic, but hear me out a second guys. While you you're learning Li Ming, please take it slow. Don't press your buttons for the sake of pressing them. Think a little bit. Okay, think a little bit. Take your time. As time goes on and you get more practice in with Li Ming, you're gonna become by default faster and faster and faster to the point where the enemy team won't know what's up, what's down, where you are, where did you blink or why are they in that specific position. You're gonna be able to wreck some serious face considering uh, how potent her trait is. And that's about it for uh, her abilities, guys. Now I'm gonna conclude with my overall feelings for this hero. Li Ming is without a doubt the most powerful hero to be introduced to the Nexus in the past couple of uh, whatever since Kael'thas, let's put it like that, okay? We haven't seen a power surge this big since Kael'thas, so I cannot recommend this hero enough. She encourages a aggressive playstyle and she is a high skilled capped hero, keep that in mind. But she is extremely efficient at what she does at being an assassin, she's got CC, she's got a little bit of damage mitigation, even a little bit of healing while porking out tons of damage and having good mobility. There's not much else to say, if you're interested in is she meta, I hate this bloody question, fine, yes she is meta and I can say that with no reservations at all. I don't like to say those two words, the O and the P, but in her case, at this particular time, it is definitely warranted. I do believe she will come to live server like she is. Uh, Blizzard historically didn't really make any changes from PTR to live but we're probably gonna see some nerfs to her in the following weeks. And I believe that's all folks. If you got any questions let me know in the comment section down below. As always my name is Ben Lazar. Like, favorite, share and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and I'll see you again soon.